Hello and welcome everyone to a new video about Azure API Center. Today, I'm going to share some exciting updates around API governance capabilities in Azure API Center. API governance is super important because it ensures API consistency and security across all of your APIs. That's why we introduced API analysis and Azure API Center to help you with your API governance. API analysis and Azure API Center involves API linting to check your API definitions against your organizational style guides. This process helps to identify error and warnings in API specifications, ensuring they follow your best practices and standards. Previously, we required to self-manage that capability and to set up an Azure function and an events integration. While self-managing API analysis brings a lot of freedom and a lot of customization opportunities, a lot of you just wanted to use Spectral as their linting engine, and they just wanted it to work by default. That's why I'm super excited to announce that we are now supporting API analysis out of the box. Let's take a look at the current experience. First of all, we added some brand new metrics to API analysis. This way you can easily scan your API repository. In my example, I can quickly see that my inventory currently consists of six total APIs. All of my six APIs also got analyzed. Because my API has six API definitions, I can also find the information that out of the six APIs, also six API definitions got analyzed. And then finally, the last metric tells me that overall four out of my six APIs need attention because they either show a warning or an error message. Well, let's add a new API and let's see what will change. I'm using our CLI to quickly add a new API. This one is called USP2 API. After I successfully registered this new API, let's check out the API analysis tab. Perfect, I can see now that seven APIs got analyzed and in even more detail, I can check out the detailed analysis report in the Azure portal. We consider Azure API Center kind of as an auditing tool, giving organizations a way to track and check on their API governance. Ideally, our API developers have already done and checked on API governance before they even registered the API. I set my active style guide to my current rules, allowing me to check on it right here in VS Code. Whenever I open my API specification now, I will see in VS Code the same arrow and same warning messages that I've previously seen in the Azure portal. This gives me a way to work on my API documentation even before I register it. I can use Copilot to help me fix this arrow, and whenever ready, I will re-register a new version of my API definition. Let's confirm in the Azure portal, and we can see now that this time around, my API spec is not showing any error warning messages, and we are good to go. Let's talk about my style guides, my rule sets. In the Azure portal, you can view and manage these rules. We understand that every organization has their own unique rules. So we allow you to modify and change these style guides based on your requirements and needs. In VS Code, you will find a rules folder, which gives you access to your own rule sets. You can modify, change them, and also test them right in here in your IDE, making sure everything works as expected. Whenever you are ready, you can redeploy these rules back to Azure API Center. Via our execution history tab, you can now see that we updated the rules which re-triggered our API linting capabilities and applied changes to our API inventory. API analysis and Azure API Center can help you maintaining API quality standards, making sure you feel more confident in your API governance. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to reach out to us.